approved by our district. We're still awaiting a few more, like whatever, I guess big shots, to make uh, their approval at the snow. But we have no reason to think that it won't happen. But they will be coming to Washington, D.C. to start a church. We will see them a lot. They will be working with us and out of here, and we will be helping them. Some of you may end up working with them, and this is good. We need more churches in the city. So, um, for the rest, we welcome you today. I don't know, is your wife going to sing? No? Sister, anyway, I won't say any more. But please come and uh, bring us the word today. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everyone. Why don't we clap our hands to the Lord and give God praise today. He is worthy to be praised. And Brother State is going to get in trouble trying to get my wife to sing last second. It's so good to be with you this, this, this morning and uh, to be with Bishop State and Sister State. We love the state. They are heroes all the way. <laughs> we don't I don't normally preach with a translator in my church in Kentucky. Alright, here we go. Uh, Brother Sister State, our heroes of the faith. We so, love them. And we, we honor them today. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> I know things are messed up in this city, but let's get it together. <laughs> you may not remember this, but I was preaching here two years ago, and I said, you do not have to listen to your past. And she thought I said, you don't have to listen to your pastor. <laughs> so she didn't translate it. <laughs> so it's good to see you again. <laughs> you have to listen to your pastor. <laughs> Going in our Bibles today to the book of John. It is a great honor to be here this morning. And I honor my family that's here with me today. My wife, Annie. And my two boys, Parker and Bennett. We're excited about what God is going to do in this city. John chapter number 4, verse number 3. En Juan capítulo 4, verso 3. The Bible says, La Biblia nos dice, He left Judea and y, departed again into Galilee. Y salió de Judea y se fue otra vez a Galilea. And he must needs go through Samaria. Y le era necesario pasar por Samaria. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria. <laughs> which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son, Joseph. Vino pues a una ciudad de Samaria llamada Sicar, junto a la heredad que Jacob dio a su hijo José. I want to preach to you this morning on this thought. Quiero predicarle hoy día en este pensamiento. Why this city? ¿Por qué esta ciudad? One more time, would you lift up your hands all over the house? Una vez, si puede levantar sus manos. And begin to lift up your voices and pray for the remainder of this service. Jesus, we thank you for your presence that's in this place right now. We thank you for your anointing that we feel in this house. God, I pray that before we leave here this morning, that every person that's under the sound of my voice would be moved again with a burden for this city. God, that we would be stirred by the souls of this city. You would touch us with your presence again. Que nos tocar con tu 
presencia de nuevo. Open up our hearts to receive your word. Abre nuestros corazones para recibir tu palabra. In Jesus name you can be seated. En el nombre de Jesús pueden tomar sus asientos. Our text this morning finds us only four chapters into the book of John. Nuestro texto esta mañana nos encuentra cuatro capítulos en el libro de Juan. Yet within those three chapters that preceded, pero de esos primeros tres capítulos, you will already see Jesus' miracle ministry well underway. Ya estamos viendo el ministerio de Jesús milagroso sucediendo. Beginning with the marriage of Cana, Comenzando con, la, con el matrimonio en Canaán, you can find and follow Jesus' steps into Capernaum. Podemos seguir sus pasos de Jesús a Pernia. And finally on to Jerusalem. Y luego a Jerusalén. Where John says many believed in his name. Donde Juan dice muchos creyeron en su nombre. When they saw the miracles that he did. Cuando vieron los milagros que él hizo. From there you can read the story. Y de allí podemos leer la historia. Of Jesus' conversation with the Pharisee named Nicodemus. De la conversación que Jesús tuvo, tuvo con el fariseo Nicodemo. The one who came to Jesus under the cover of darkness. El que vino a Jesús bajo la oscuridad. And you can read about the powerful revelation that Jesus declared to him, you must be born again. There were so many powerful things that were happening in this region. The miracles and now the opportunity that Jesus has to preach to one of the rulers of the Jews. Para poder predicar a uno de los gobernadores de los judíos. And it looks like things are really about to break out in Jerusalem. Y parece que las cosas están a punto de suceder en Jerusalén. When suddenly John says that Jesus left Judea. Y cuando de repente Juan dice que Jesús se fue de Judea. With an express final destination of Galilee. Con su destino, destino siendo Galilea. Of course, going back to Galilee made sense for Jesus. Por supuesto, regresar a Galilea tenía sentido para Jesús. His hometown Nazareth was there. Porque su ciudad de Nazaret estaba ahí. Most of the miracles of Jesus in the Scripture. Muchos de los milagros de Jesús en las Escrituras. Would transpire here. Pasarían acá. It would be in Galilee that Jesus would feed the 5,000. It's also here that he would find Peter and Andrew and John among others. So when Jesus told his disciples that they were going to Galilee, I can't imagine that there would have been too many questions about why they were headed there. But there is more to this text than Jesus' final destination. You see, while we know where he was going, John also takes time to mention the route that they would use to get there. Because in verse 4 he said, I must needs go through Samaria. And he makes sure to know that they were coming to a city called Sychar. Jesus declared plainly to his disciples Jesús le declara planamente a sus discípulos that he needed to go through Samaria. que necesitaba pasar por Samaria. And while the journey would inevitably bring them to this city, y aunque el camino les iba a traer a esta ciudad, this journey was not necessary because of road conditions. Esta necesar, esta, este camino no era necesario por las condiciones de la calle. It wasn't the path to take because it was the familiar path. No era el camino de tomar porque era el camino más conocido. But there was something else that caused him to walk that rarely traveled way. Pero había otra cosa que le hizo llamar, caminar por ese camino no mucho viajado. Why this city? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué esta ciudad? Why this city? ¿Por qué esta ciudad? When nearly every other Jew would go out of their way to avoid Samaria. Porque todo otro judío hacía todo lo que podía para evitar pasar por Samaria. When very few would walk by that city that serves as the backdrop of our text. Porque, porque muchos no quisieran pasar por esta ciudad donde sirve de nuestro contexto. The words of Jesus echo loudly, I need to go through Samaria. Las palabras de Jesús las escuchamos en voz alta diciendo, yo necesito. 
hizo pasar por Samaria. This way was not the customary one. Este camino no era el lado acostumbrado. It brought them by cities filled with sinners. Porque nos traían por un campo lleno de pecadores. To walk this way would have put them out of step with the religious and with the culture. Porque caminar por este camino nos ponía en contrario a la cultura religiosa. But can I tell you that situations and places? Pero te puedo decir que situaciones y lugares that others will go out of their way to avoid. Que otros tal vez van fuera de su camino para evitar. Jesus will walk that way to confront. Jesús va a caminar este camino. What others will dismiss. Lo que what others will dismiss. Lo que otros tal vez dejan por por nada. Jesus will embrace. Jesús va a alcanzar. You can ask the leper in Matthew chapter eight. Le puedes preguntar al leproso en Mateo capítulo ocho. When others will keep their distance from you. Cuando otros mantenían su distancia de ti. Jesus will come close enough to touch you. Jesús se va a acercar para tocarte. When others will pick up their stones to judge you. Cuando otros pueden levantar sus piedras para juzgarte. Jesus will call stones to be dropped and will throw mercy in your direction. Jesús va a causar que esas piedras caigan y tirar misericordia en tu dirección. When others will walk past you. Cuando otros pueden caminar alas de ti. Jesus walks to you. Jesús camina hacia ti. When others reject you. Cuando otros te rechazan. Jesus embraces you. Jesús te alcanza. And he is not concerned what others think. Y él no está ocupado con lo que otros piensan. He is unmoved by culture's view. Él no es movido por las las vistas culturales. But our God wants to walk right in the middle of your situation. Pero nuestro Dios quiere caminar en medio de tu situación. He wants to walk right in the middle of your storm. Él quiere caminar en medio de tu tormenta. He wants to walk right in the middle of your mess. Él quiere caminar en medio de tu desastre. He is interested in you. Él está está interesado en usted. Jesus needs to go somewhere today. Jesús necesita ver algo hoy día. He wants to come to you. Él quiere venir a ti. A lot of times we feel like people. Muchas veces nos sentimos como que la gente. Use their spiritual GPS. Usan su GPS espiritual, su, su centro de navegación. And like our GPS, we can set it to avoid tolls and traffic. Y como nuestro GPS lo podemos poner para evitar tráfico. We like to avoid brokenness and hurt. Nos gusta evitar ser quebrantados, ser dañado. Or avoid people with the past. O nos gusta evitar personas que vienen con un pasado. But Jesus doesn't avoid those people. Pero Jesús no evita esas personas. He sets a destination marker there. Él pone un destino para ese lugar. I want to tell somebody today, Jesus is interested in you. Quiero decirle a alguien hoy día, Jesús está interesado en usted. He is looking for you. Él te está buscando a ti. Others may avoid you. Otros tal vez no quieran estar contigo. Others may walk past you. Y otros tal vez solo caminen al lado de ti. But Jesus said, I need to go this way today. Pero Jesús dice, quiero ir de este camino hoy día. Jesus says, I need to come to this church this morning. Jesús dice, yo voy a venir a esta iglesia. Not because it's full of people who are holy. No porque sea una iglesia llena de personas que son santas. But because it is filled with people who are broken. Pero porque está llena con personas que están quebrantadas. Because it is filled with people who are sick. Porque está llena con personas que están enfermos. It's because it's filled with people who have doubt. Porque está llena con personas que tienen duda. Filled with people who have fear and mistakes and failures. Personas que tienen miedos, fracasos. I gotta tell you, Jesus had to walk past some things to get to me. Tengo que decirte, Jesús tuvo que caminar sobre muchas cosas allí para llegar a mí. But whatever journey he has to take to get to you, pero cualquier camino que él tiene que tomar para llegar a ti, he'll do it. Él lo hará. Anybody can testify today he had to go a long way to get to you. Are you thankful he made the journey? Yes, I am. Come on, why don't you clap your hands to the Lord if you're thankful he made the journey? But again, the question remains. Pero de nuevo la pregunta se queda. Why did Jesus go this way? Por qué Jesús se fue de este camino? Why did he come to this city? Por qué él vino a esta ciudad? John says in verse six, Jesus pauses in his 
Juan nos dice en el verso 6 que él se detiene en su camino he stops at Jacob's well. y se detiene en el pozo de Jacob. The disciples go further into the city to buy food. Y los discípulos entran más profundo en la ciudad para comprar comida. And while the disciples are away, y mientras que los discípulos están afuera, the woman from the city comes up to draw water. la mujer de la ciudad viene a sacar agua. He meets this woman in the middle of the afternoon at a well. Él conoce o se encuentra con esta mujer en una tarde en, en el pozo. And the timing is important because it was not the customary time to go to the well. Y el tiempo es importante porque no era el tiempo acostumbrado para ir al pozo. The women of that city would have went to the well early in the morning. Las mujeres de esa ciudad hubieran ido al pozo temprano en la mañana. Yet here she is by herself. Y pero aquí está ella sola. In the middle of the afternoon. En medio de, al medio día. I won't take time to read all of the scriptures this morning. Y no voy a tomar el tiempo para leer toda la escritura esta mañana. But it picks up in verse chapter, verse number seven. Pero en el verso siete nos dice. The Bible says that Jesus asked her for water. La Biblia nos dice que Jesús le pidió por agua. And she is pretty dismissive of Jesus initially. Y ella al principio como que un poco lo ignora. Especially the water that he offers to her. Especialmente el agua que él ofrece a ella. Until he mentions that she would never thirst again. Hasta que él menciona que nunca tendrá sed jamás. The Bible says she cries out to Jesus. Y la Biblia nos dice que ella clama a Jesús. Give me this water. Water. Y ella le dice, dame esta agua that I thirst not. De la cual no tengo sed. Neither come hither to draw. O de la cual no puedo tomar. See, for her, no doubt, the benefit. Para ella, sin duda, el beneficio. Was greater than the lack of thirst. Era mucho más de la falta de, de sed. You see, she didn't want to have to go back to that well anymore. Ella no tendría que regresar a ese pozo más. And I don't know what the well represented to her. Y yo no sé lo que el pozo significaba para ella. I don't know the conversations that must have spurred her distaste for going to the well. Y no sé las conversaciones que habiesen sucedido en ese lugar para que ella no le gustara ahí. But she was tired of going to that well. Pero estaba cansada de ir a ese pozo. She knew she needed something to take away the thirst. Ella sabía que necesitaba algo para que le quitara la sed. But more than that, she wanted something that would keep her from having to chase after that thirst day after day. Pero más que eso, quería algo que no que le hiciera no tener que regresar a buscar esa agua. She knew she needed something in her life. Ella sabía que necesitaba algo en su vida. And she had to keep going back to that well to satisfy. Y ella tenía que seguir regresando a ese pozo para satisfacerlo. Finally, she sees this glimmer of hope. Finalmente, ella ve este poquito de esperanza. And she determines that she wants whatever it is. Y ella determina que ella quiere, ella necesita lo que es. That would eliminate the longing for drink. Que podía eliminar aquel deseo que ella tenía de tomar. But Jesus wanted to do something greater than reveal her need. Jesús quería hacer algo más grande que solo alcanzar su necesidad. Without exception, every one of us here today. Sin ninguna excepción, cada uno de nosotros aquí hoy día. We all have a thirst that nothing but Jesus can satisfy. Todos tenemos una sed que nada más que Jesús puede satisfacer. And we come here with needs and with hurts. Y venimos acá con necesidades y con do condolencias. We come here with thirst, and many of us have tried a lot of things to satisfy those thirsts. Muchos de nosotros hemos tratado muchas cosas para But Jesus says, I am the only one Pero Jesús dice, Yo soy el único who has the thing that will satisfy the searching in your heart. Que va a esa en tu I want to remind somebody today, money will not satisfy the need in your heart. Success will not satisfy the longing in your heart. Y el éxito no va a Relationships, even in and of themselves, cannot satisfy the longing in your heart. Only Jesus can keep you from going to that, that well. Only Jesus can satisfy that longing in your soul. When you try everything else, you've got to try Jesus. 
He chose this moment. Él escogió este momento. And this woman. Y esta mujer. To be the first time that he revealed himself as Messiah. Para revelarse por primera vez como un mes, como el Mesías. Not to somebody that had it all together. No con alguien que lo había figurado todo. Not someone who was already religious. No con alguien que ya era religiosa. He revealed himself as Messiah to the least of the least. Se reveló como el Mesías al menor de los menores. How priest you today? You may feel like you have a checkered past. Te quiero predicarte esta mañana, tal vez te sientas como que tienes un pasado mal. He's your Messiah. Pero eres tu Mesías. You, when you feel like you have nothing to offer. Cuando tú sientes que no tienes nada que ofrecer. He's your Messiah. Él es tu Mesías. If you feel like no one cares for you. Si tú te sientes como que a nadie le interesa. He is your Messiah. Él es tu Mesías. He's our Messiah. Aren't you thankful for that? Estás agradecido por eso. Clap your hands to the Lord if you're thankful. Can I tell you? While I've heard it preached that Jesus made this journey for this woman. I think we missed the purpose of Jesus' journey that way. His visit to that city when we make it all about one person. Now don't get me wrong. Jesus will leave 99 to find one. But I believe that Jesus' words a little later in the chapter reveal. His purpose for that city. And answer the question. Why this city? You see, this woman leaves her water pot. And the Bible says that she begins to run throughout her city. Saying, come see a man. Which told me all the things that I ever did. You see, this woman had an encounter that changed her life. Tú ves, esa mujer tuvo un encuentro que cambió su vida. And she went back into that city with the testimony. Y ella regresó a esta ciudad con un testimonio. The Bible says in John 4, 39. Y la Biblia nos dice en Juan 4, 39. That many people believed on him. Que muchos creyeron en él. For the sake of the woman. Por lo que había dicho la mujer. Many people believed on Jesus. Que muchos creyeron en Jesús. Because of the testimony of that woman. Acerca del testimonio de esta mujer. Yes, he went that way into that city for her. Sí, él fue a esta ciudad por ella. But Jesus had more than one person on his mind. Pero Jesús tenía más que una persona en su mente. He knew that armed with the testimony. Él sabía que ella armada con un testimonio. She would go back into that city. Ella iba a regresar a la ciudad. And she would bring others to him. Iba a traer otros a él. The Bible says that many believed because of her testimony. La Biblia nos dice que muchos creyeron a causa o por su testimonio. And some that did not believe. Y aquellos que no creyeron. Were willing to come and hear his words for themselves. Que pidieron, tuvieron la voluntad de venir y escuchar por ellos mismos la palabra. Why is this church in this city? ¿Por qué está esta iglesia en esta ciudad? It's for you. Es para ti. But don't be mistaken. Pero no te equivoques. It's not just for you. No solo es para ti. God saved you for a purpose. Jesús te ha salvado con un propósito. He armed you with the testimony. Él te ha armado con un testimonio. That when you begin to go throughout the streets of this metro area. Puedas caminar en las calles de esta área metropolitana. And you begin to share what Jesus has done for you. Y puedas compartir lo que Jesús ha hecho por ti. There will be some who will believe. Van a haber algunos que creerán. Because of your testimony. A causa de tu testimonio. And there will be some who will be willing to come and hear for themselves. Y van a haber otros que van a venir y tener la voluntad de escuchar por ellos mismos. Because of your testimony. A causa de tu testimonio. Why, Jesus, did you come this way? Por qué Jesús has venido en este camino? Why did you put a church in this city? Por qué has puesto una iglesia en esta ciudad? Why did you save me? Por qué me has salvado? 
Because while she was away in the city, Jesus revealed his purpose for his visit that day. When he says, when he says in John 4, 35, Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. John 4, 35. Lo dice, aún falta cuatro meses. Alzad vuestros ojos y mirad los campos, porque ya están blancos para la ciega. You see, he didn't come just for that woman at the well. Tú ves, él no solo vino por esa mujer que estaba en el pozo. He went into that city because he knew there was a harvest there. Él fue a esa ciudad porque sabía que la cosecha o la ciega estaba ahí. And can I tell you that's why he came into this city? Y si te puedo decir que este es el motivo por el cual ha venido a esta ciudad. That's why he put you in this city. Por eso te ha puesto a ti en esta ciudad. And that's why he's calling me into this city. Y por eso me está llamando a ti en esta ciudad. Because the fields are white already to harvest. That's why there's a church. That's why the lights are on today. He didn't just come for you. He came for a harvest. He came because the fields are white. Why do we plant churches? Why this way? Why these cities? It's not because there are calmer places to live. No, porque hay mejores lugares donde vivir. Or cheaper places to live. O más lugares más baratos. It's because there's harvest. Pero es porque aquí está la ciega. Ten years ago, I was sitting in Union Station. Hace diez años atrás estaba sentado en Union Station. When a conversation with someone who attended this church. Con la conversación con alguien que asistía a esta iglesia. He revealed to me that there was only one United Pentecostal Church in the city. At this point, this church was only two years old. And when he made that statement to me, for the first time ever, I felt a burden for this city. And since I've shared that burden, there have been many that have asked the question. Why Washington, D.C.? Why would anyone want to live in that place? And Jesus answered the question in John 4.35 for me already. There's a harvest here. I thank God that he found me. Estoy tan contento que me he encontrado. But he found me so that I could find others. Pero la he encontrado para que yo pueda encontrar a otros. And we have to be careful. Y tenemos que tener cuidado. That we don't get so comfortable at the well. Que estemos tan confortables en el pozo. Drinking from the water that Jesus offered us. Tomando del agua que Jesús nos ha ofrecido. That we are not willing to put our water pot down. Que no tenemos la voluntad de poner nuestra vasija abajo. And run into our city. Y correr a nuestras ciudades. With a testimony that Jesus made a difference. Con el testimonio que Jesús ha hecho la diferencia. That Jesus did something for me that no one else could do. That Jesus satisfied the longing in my heart. That Jesus. 